what's up everyone so my name is Tom and welcome to another tech stream video today thanks to the guys at Fractal Design we're taking a look at their R6 now I've actually got to confess I've had this case for a little while um, it's, been, it's, it's a bit of an ongoing project at the moment it's just got my personal system in here but there will be a lot more going on and we'll hopefully do some more videos about it but like I said we're doing a review of it and all we're looking at today really is the case it the system that's in there a little bit thrown in I must confess but anyway it's here and I'm going to start out by saying there's a reason my personal rig is in here there's a reason why it's staying in here this is a really really good case so we'll start off with the case itself it is just a standard ATX case it's of a moderate height it's a little bit long compared to a lot of the ATX cases that I've reviewed recently but it's nice and deep so you've got no problems with air coolers or anything like that single tempered glass side panel. There is a front opening door. I will show all of you that later. The back panel is just a standard steel panel. So the R6 was the first one where they introduced their new little side panel um, mounting mechanism. I actually really like it. Now you can put thumb screws in the back, but I don't have any in here and it doesn't fall off and you simply pull it off. And you've got a little pair of mounting pegs on the back here and you simply slot the panel on okay and push it in it's a bit like it's like closing a door that is it nice and simple so they just literally pull out and slide back they don't fall off or anything the mounting mechanism is firm enough to hold but not too tight that you can't get them off the other back side panel mounted in exactly the same way this one is a steel panel but typical fractal design it has got a bit of sort of well it's sound deadening I'm not quite sure what this one's made out of it's kind of fabric lined but you can hear it's made the panel sound incredibly sort of dull it just absorbs sound stops vibrations because vibrating panels is where sounds come from now fractal design have always been I want to say one step behind everybody when it comes to fashion um, but realistically they just don't follow trends fractal design do what they're good at they just produce good quality cases um, RGB and things like that comes as a bit second like they were everybody else was doing tempered glass cases and things fractal design was still putting out plain boxes but they were putting out plain boxes and to be honest with you this is a bit of a plain box but it's just well assembled so I've got my system in here there's an Asus 1080Ti and X470 system relatively basic but it all fits in with no problems now I must admit it is a little bit dusty because it has been running pretty much 24-7 for a, a, a good few weeks I do have to confess but hey um, so the case itself as I said it is standard ATX I've actually got this set up for the hard drive option here but anyway, standard ATX motherboard. I've got a 240 radiator mounted in the top at the moment. You can fit bigger, um, but it's pretty much standard ATX. There is a vertical GPU mount here on the side. Personally, it's very close to the front um, and it has been proven. Vertical GPUs, basically, they starve your card of a bit of oxygen. Oxygen, air, same difference. Um, so yes you can use them just be careful of your card choices they're more suited to sort of water cooled GPUs really but it is there there's no cable included um, but you can pick them up you just need to make sure you get one with the 90 degree connector on the bo bottom to make it fit but there is no mounts on the bottom for a cable or anything like that uh, what else can we show you while we're here the other thing to, to note is this top panel now if I press there's a button on the back and this is actually an air filter and it that pops out okay so a louvered vent um, it does have a filter you can see it's dirty but it, that means it's doing its job and what they also supply is this little steel pal here with the same anti-vibration material and that goes on the top so if you're not using these top intakes or exhausts or whatever however you want to set them up you can actually have this as a panel just to make sure you can increase your positive pressures it'll stop dust getting sucked in through the top obviously I've got um, an AIO mounted to the top so I am actually using this louvered version I must admit getting this off was a little bit of a pain but it came off 
and their mounting mechanism for this top panel can be a little bit uh, picky. You do, you need to look at it. I'm probably never going to get this in attempting to do it from this angle. But we can always try. Meh. Relative success. And like I said, you just press the button on the top, on the back here, and up it pops. Now, it does have a relatively good set of front I.O. Uh, I'm just thinking what's going to be the best way to do this. I'm going to stand up. You're going to miss a bit of me there. Okay, so front I.O. here, we do have headphones, microphone, uh, the reset button is just there in the middle, so you don't accidentally press it because it's not near the power button. USB Type-C, and it is a proper Type-C connector on the inside. Pair of USB 2s, pair of USB 3s, and a power button. The power button is actually illuminated blue. And as you can see, I didn't actually get this. There we go. Clipped in properly. It does actually clip in. If you're looking at it, it's a sim now. This is not a light system with everything in it, but hey. So this is the front door brushed aluminium sort of front panel. It is sound deadened again. And then if we open it up, we've got, I'm hoping you can see in that, we've got an intake grill and a five and a quarter drive bay at the top. Intake grill is all removable. There's also a filter for the bottom, which you can slide out from the front, no needing to remove your system from wherever you got it to clean filters. You can actually clean all the filters with the system still tucked under your desk. The door is also removable, you can flip the hinges. I've just never done it because I don't open the door. Um, airflow is obviously massively increased should you either A, leave it open or B, completely remove it. As it is, intakes are a little bit restricted just down these vents, but the fans are mounted on the inside so you don't have too much of a problem. Now. So the backside of the case now, there's, I must admit, sorry for the cable management, this is almost thrown in just to get it going while I'm waiting for some more bits to do some upgrades and increased storage on this system but this is the back of the case I've got quite a large PSU in here but still plenty of space for your cabling we do have a pair of two and a half inch sleds here on the back of the motherboard tray and then we've got a big array of the white sled now they are there are some included I think it's like three included the rest you can buy them separately. They're not too expensive, and it can mean you can put a massive amount of drives into this. But, but, one of the cool little features of this case, if you're not using any of said three and a half inch bays, you can remove them all, and the black panel that is here, currently now sort of at the front, of the, one side of the case, unscrews and moves to the back. And that gives you space for water cooling, whether it be pumps, rads, radio, things like that, pumps, reservoirs, that's what I was thinking of. You can mount them all in the front there. So it's quite a modular case. Like I said, you can adjust, change the top so you can have a louvered filter or you can change the front there. So if you're using lots of hard drives, you've got the space or you can remove them, put the cover into a different place and do it all that way. Um, like I said, I've actually really liked this case. It's incredibly well built. There's loads of cable tie mounts. There's a good amount, probably about about half an inch or about 12 mil of space at the back here for cable management so plenty of space to tuck everything away keep it relatively neat like i said i do have to apologize there's a few extra psu cables and things floating around in here for all the hard drives that are going to be going in here shortly but overall incredibly impressive and as you can see on the back standard seven pci express slots all held in with thumb screws and you do have a vertical gpu mount here the 140mm fan that you see included here, PWM fan, mounted at the back, comes out of stand. Also included is the fan hub that you saw, just mounted at the back there. So you can plug in a good few fans into that, then you just have a single cable connecting to your motherboard. Another great little addition, just as to the premium feel of Fractal cases. I think Fractal do really, really well at just producing a good case. They go, do you need that? No. So they don't put it in there. Would that make it a better case? Yes, so we include it. And they just concentrate on making good, good cases. Then they may not be the prettiest or the most extravagant looking things, but they just do their job and do their job really well. 
that's about it really for the Fractal R6. I did miss a couple of things out. There is actually a removable PSU bracket, so you mount the bracket to your power supply and then slide it in from the back. Nice little addition. This is that panel that I mentioned. You can actually remove all the hard drive caddies that I've got installed and slide this to the back of the case sort of thing. And then you can mount um, reservoirs and things like that at the front. It does come supplied with 340 mil fans. There's one at the back and there is a pair at the front. The fan hub is included, but there's no RGB or anything like that about this case. It's just a really nice case. So what do I actually think of it and would I recommend it? Yes, I would go out of my way to say, taking into account the price, it's not that expensive. I think they're around about 130 pound here in the UK. Um, I would say it's probably one of the best cases I've used. Yes, I've used better cases, but they were considerably more expensive. Um, there are some that might be a bit cheaper that will do the job for you, but this one, this is the sort of case. You will buy this now, and you will, it's a bit like um, about 10, 15 years ago, there was the Lianlai V2000. It was a big case, and you bought one, and you kept it for a long time, and you put many different systems in it. This is one of those cases, because it is adaptable whether it comes to water cooling or hard drive capacities and things like that it is the sort of case that you'll buy now and in two years time you might put a new graphics card in there or in a few more years after that you might change all your motherboard and everything but this well-built case will stick with you throughout i can can't imagine anything really breaking on it it's it's an ageless design because at the end of the day it's just a nice black box they do do it in a few other colors uh, but I have the black one here and it just suits it it's it's just a nice understated system and realistically fractal design cases if you go back to the original R1 still looks pretty much the same all they've really done is they improve the insides every time so that's about it really for the fractal R6 like I said I put my personal rig in it I highly recommend it I'm gonna put some links down below as to where you can buy one should you wish to but I'm going to give it a massive two thumbs up. Great case, great build quality, simple design, just been built to work. So there we go, guys. That's about it for today. I am going to get some more features with this case in the future. But that is it for me and the Fractal R6 today. So there we go. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. As always, any comments, questions or suggestions, leave it down below. I always try and take my time to answer anyone. Buddy. And if you want to see more of me, click the subscribe button and click that little notification bell. On that note, guys, that is it for today. Thank you very much and bye for now.